Hi students. In today's session, we are going to discuss the experiment feel along the axis of a circular coil. We'll discuss how to do this experiment in our actual lab as well as in the virtual lab. The aim of this experiment is to study the variation of magnetic flux density along the axis of a circular coil carrying current. So we have to study how the magnetic flux density B along the axis of the circular coil varies with distance. Now the theory here is when the current passes through a coil, a magnetic field is produced along the axis of the coil. So if there is a coil here, then a magnetic field is produced along its axis when current flows through this coil. And if the magnetic flux density on the axis of the circular coil B and the uh, Earth's horizontal uh, flux density BH act on a magnetic needle in perpendicular directions, then we have B is equal to BH tan theta. That is if the uh, field along the axis of the coil and the ax uh, earth horizontal flux density uh, they are acting in perpendicular directions then a magnetic needle here will obey the tangent law that is b is equal to bh tan theta now here b which is the field along the axis of the circular coil current carrying circular coil is given by b is equal to mu 0 ni by 2 into a square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 where n is the number of turns in the coil i the current through the coil a the radius of the coil and x is the distance of the point from the center of the coil now here we see that b varies with x as the distance varies the magnetic field that is you have the circular coil here as we move away from the center of the circular coil the field will also vary the magnetic field will also vary as the magnetic field varies tan theta will vary by the tangent law so to study the variation of the magnetic flux density b with distance we just have to study the variation of tan theta with distance x. Why, why did we say that? Because when x varies, b will vary. If b varies, tan theta will vary. That means to study the variation of b with x, we need to study only the variation of tan theta with x, which is much more easier. Then what we do here is we plot a graph between x and tan theta. Now how do we actually do this experiment? Now the connections are made as shown in this figure. A circular coil, uh, a battery, a rheostat and a meter and there is a commutator here. First the plane of the coil is set in the magnetic meridian. For that that is, the plane is kept in the north-south direction. For that, we first rotate the compass box till the 1990 line becomes parallel to the plane of the coil. Then the whole apparatus is rotated till the aluminium pointer in the compass box reads 0, 0. That is, the base of the um, the wooden base of the base where the compass box is kept has its arms in the east-west direction. Okay. After that, what we do is, uh, the key is, uh, or the circuit is switched on, the key is inserted or the circuit is switched on, and uh, the rheostat is adjusted so that the reading in the compass box here is uh, about 60 degrees. That is when the compass box and the needle are at the center of the circular coil. That is when x equal to 0. At x equal to 0, we adjust the rheostat so that the reading in the compass box is nearly 60 degree. After that, we reverse the current by interchanging the keys in the commutator. Again, the compass needle shows 60 degree but in the 
opposite direction. Now the compass box kept here is moved along the axis of this circular coil in one direction either to the right or to the left say by x is equal to say 2 centimeters. Then we note the reading of the compass needle. Then in the same position we reverse the direction of the current and note the deflection shown in the compass needle. The same procedure is repeated by moving the compass box to a distance say x equal to the same distance to the left that is x equal to 2 centimeters and again the deflection produced in the compass needle is noted. The current direction is reversed by reversing the commutator and again the deflections are noted. So that we get 8 sets of readings. That is when you place the compass needle on this side you get 2 readings. When the current is reversed on the same side you get 2 more readings. Move the compass needle uh, box to the other side you get 2 readings. Reverse the current direction you get 2 more readings. So a total of 4 readings. Next repeat the experiment by moving the compass box to say 4 centimeters, 6 centimeters, 8 centimeters etc. till the compass needle shows a deflection up to say 30 degree. The same at the same distances you move the compass box to the other side also say to the left also both left and right or to the east and west the compass box is moved and in each position the uh, direction of the current is reversed so that you get 8 sets of readings. Now your tabular column will be like this. First we keep the compass box at the center note theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 on one side and theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 on the other side. Take the mean theta in both the cases find out tan theta. For the next distance say 3 centimeters or 2 centimeters again you follow the same procedure you repeat this for various distances so you get distance on one side and tan theta on the other side. Then a graph is plotted. The graph varies like this. Tan theta is maximum at x equal to 0 and it decreases as the distance increases. That is as the distance from the center of the coil increases the magnetic flux density, the magnitude of the magnetic flux density decreases. So this is what you have to do in the real lab. Now let us see how we do this experiment in the virtual lab. For that let us take VLAB. I am going to its site. In this page take physical sciences. Then go to electricity and magnetism virtual lab. There you see a list of experiments. In that the second one magnetic field along the axis of a circular coil carrying current. So here you will be given the theory theory of what we have just discussed then there you can see the procedure there self evaluation a few questions now let us move on to the simulator how do we do it here now when you go to the simulator you will have to log in i have already logged in here So you will be asked to enable the flash player. Click here. Flash. Allow. Now if you click on the simulator, you will be able to view the experiment. First what you have to do is, the initial adjustment that is 
placing the uh, circular coil, the plane of the circular coil in the magnetic meridian. For that, first we rotate the compass box. So that the 1990, that is this line, the 1990 line lies along the plane of the coil. It must be parallel to the plane of the coil. So what I do is rotate, click on rotate the compass box. I use the right key, right arrow and move it like this. When the 90-90 line becomes parallel to the plane of the coil, then this one, that is the rotate the apparatus, that's the slider there gets activated. It gets activated only when your 90-90 line becomes, comes in the plane of the coil. At all other positions, it will remain inactive. See? Now, rotate the apparatus. It is inactive because your position is wrong. So I come back to the right position. See, it has got activated. Now I rotate the apparatus so that the aluminum pointer coincides with the zero zero of my complex box. That also I did using the right key, pressing the right key. Now let us go to the normal mode. Now complete the setup or complete the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram. So click on the first, the positive end of the battery is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter from the ammeter to the commutator. So I come from here. It's connected from here to this terminal of the commutator then from the negative to the key key to the bottom terminal of your rheostat and from key to the lower terminal of the rheostat from the upper end of the rheostat is connected to the four way key then the two ends of the commutator are connected to the circular coil. One end is connected like this and the other end is connected like this. So my circuit is complete. Now what I have to do is insert the key here. This key has to be inserted. So let us insert the key. Now let us fix the number of turns in this coil. Number of turns Say I give it as 20. Or let's keep it as 50. Now the radius of the coil. It's beginning from 5 to 10. Let it remain at 5. I leave it at 5 itself, the radius of this coil. Then compass box position. Now the compass box is at 0. 0 centimeters. That is at the center. Now, as you move to the right or left, that is, the compass box is moved either to the east or west or to the right or left. As I go in this direction, see the compass box is moving 3 centimeters to that, that direction. And if I come here, it has it is moving to the opposite direction. Okay, so initially I keep it, keep it at the center. zero. Now what I do is I adjust the rheostat so that at the center my reading is 60 degree. That is what you do in the real lab also. We adjust the rheostat so that the reading at the center is 60 degree. Okay, it's nearly 60. Not exactly 60 but nearly 60. So this is what we do first. So Let's see how much is the current shown by the emitter, 0 0.31, 0 
Okay, so the reading is 60. Now what I do? I reverse the current there. At the other end also it shows 60. Nearly 60, 60 or 59, 59. Not much of an error. So, now what we do is we enter our tabular column. First set of reading. My N is 15. I 0 0.31. R, I set it at 5. X, initial 1, 0. That is the compass box at the center. And theta 1, I got 60, 60, 60, and 60 on the left. And on the right also, I think we got it as 59. 59, 59, 59, and 59. Okay, so we have got here mean theta in degrees and tan theta. Now let us take the second reading. What you have to do is move the compass box to say 0.51. One point five. I have moved it to one point five. Now my readings are fifty six and fifty six. Reverse the current. Again, here also I got fifty six and fifty six. So I have changed only to get the next to write the next reading. I have to add a column, a row here. I added it. Coming to the first, we are coming to the second reading. Number of turns, 15 itself. The current, same. 0 0.31. I am fixing all the other factors except the distance. I have kept it at 1.5. And I got the reading as 56. 56. 56. 56. And 56. Now let us go to the other side. Let us move our compass position to 1.5 degree on the other side. Minus 1.5. There again I got 56. It's 56 here and 56 here. Reverse the current. Again you get 56 and 56. Now read, write those four readings also in your tabular column. So on the other side also you got 56. See, 56 and so that you got mean theta and tan theta. So you see, you got the maximum value for tan theta the center, and on either sides that is at zero. That when the distance is zero, you get 1.69. When it is moved to 1.5 on either sides, your tan theta value has reduced to 1.48, 1.48. Next, you change the distance to say 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, etc. You just go on doing like that and you calculate the value of tan theta in each case. And the graph is plotted. You get the graph in this manner. That is, the magnetic field is maximum at the uh, center of the circular coil and as the distance from the center decreases, the value of the field also decreases as shown in this graph. So, this is the experiment. This is how the experiment is done in the virtual lab. So, I think the variation of magnetic flux density with distance, that is plotting the graph of tan theta versus x is clear to all of you how it must be done in the real lab as well as in the virtual lab. If you have any doubts, please do contact.